And um, what is the best way to end the news segment, chat? Can you can you guess? Would you like to wager a bet, chat? Would you like to predict how we're going to top this top this off? Could it be, chat? Could it be the end of the fucking world? Part 7? I think it is, chat. Mr. Nubbly has put out a banger as he does. Uh, his numbers are through the roof. Let's take a look at what end of the world part 7 has for us today, chat. Okay. 41 days until the election. Oh my god. Now Mr. Nubbly is getting bold. Uh, we are at an Aid for Israel benefit concert. Uh, features the Israeli flag, Star David and all, and the U.S. flag. Featuring all American covers of 90s Australian rock songs. Okay, that's very specific, but you got a packed audience here, so this must be good. Um, now, there appears to be a demon woman... A man who is bright orange and has dark poo spots on him, like he's a sausage covered in Vegemite, uh, playing the guitar. And then a horrific looking worm man on the drums. The demon woman holding a guitar says, There's so much chaos in the world, but today is all about love. And there's so much love in the air here. The only other, the other side ha only has hate, and that's why we're going to win. Uh, the audience says, yay, let's get this party started, she concludes. Now, in the front row of this audience, there are um, boomers. These appear to be Texas boomers. Uh, one man has an enormous cock and ball erection. They're wearing high-waisted jeans, and they brought an elderly person with them um, who is erect, but it's like it only gets half hard, and it kind of looks like a, like a, a little flaccid cone. I don't know how to describe it. And he's on his walker. They're playing music. The lyric says, I I don't want anybody else. When I think about you, I touch myself. Ooh. Um, oh, God. Mr. Nubbly's really going all in on this one. Uh, so, overlooking this concert from one of the roofs that are actually... I was actually going to comment. It's kind of weird that he just put these high-rise buildings in the background. It's kind of like a placeholder. But we can see now that that was not a placeholder. That was a deliberate choice. So that you could see the building that the sniper in the fifth or the fourth and fifth panels uh, is resting on. The music is singing out. There's a man in a Make America Great Again hat. Um, his ass crack is showing, and he has a sniper rifle on a bipod rest. Um, it appears to be, I want to say it's like a 5.56, and it has like a 10-round magazine. I guess he, this is in California. That's the best he can do. Now, the Trump Tart is actually wearing, on the front end, a Ron Paul 2012 Um campaign shirt and that is i feel like that's a direct attack upon me personally and he says hail hitler as he uh begins to shoot from his magazine uh in the sixth panel you actually see trump cards getting their com faces completely blown the fuck off by this guy shooting at them uh while singing i touch myself i touch myself i honestly do i touch myself i touch myself um, then in the seventh panel, uh, we have a MAGA guy, and this one's in, like, a full, fully loaded, like, combat tactical gear. He says, a shooter, good thing I brought my $30,000 of tactical gear so I can shoot them myself. And then his fat son, who can't even zip up his pants, says, yeah, go get him, dad. Um, now there are actually multiple tactical guys, and they're all in tactical mode. Um, it, there's a thing that says tactical jelly roll, and they're going blur, oog, blap. Oh, he's doing a roll. It's just him. It looks like there's three of them doing tactical stuff, but it's actually just him. You can see in the background that the Trump cards are getting blown to fucking pieces. Um, and then the tactical guy manages to double a headshot both his own dog. And the dog was not there. So, again, I feel personally attacked by the inclusion of this dog being shot in the fucking head. Because that's a very slaughter-looking animal. And then he blows his own son's brains out. 
And then there are two guys, or a man and a woman, um, with pieces of their face missing in the last panel, holding ice cream cones that are covered in blood and scalp, saying, I guess you can't bring a son to a gunfight. Dog on it. There's some dog on it. And he's complaining about the... Oh, it's actually not scalp. It's pieces of slobber mutt on his ice cream cone. So Mr. Dumbly, I think, has lost his fucking mind and is now drawing comics where a neo-Nazi Ron Paul Trump tard is using 10-round magazines to kill Trump tards at a APAC concert. I'm not actually sure what he's trying to say, but I feel deliberately attacked by this in multiple ways, which I assume is the point. He's now just making these to subtly insult me, <laughs> personally. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. I caused this. I feel like I did. <laughs> I feel like I did. I feel like this is my fault somehow. Okay. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!